There's a reason why Highway 96 in Siskiyou County has the nickname Bigfoot Scenic Highway. And if you drive deep into the Klamath National Forest, you'll see why. Well, it's the little artist town in Bigfoot country. John Bartell here making a little pit stop in Happy Camp. Gold was the first discovery in Happy Camp. Legend has it that the town was named after prospector James Camp, who found a gold nugget and said it was the happiest day of his life. The other discovery in this area was Bigfoot. Be saying people go, man, you wouldn't believe what I saw. I'm not sure what I saw, but I think I saw something. The mythical creature and the gold rush history inspires artists of all kinds to create whimsical art. That includes Cheryl Wainwright, who co-created this 15-foot tall Bigfoot statue out of old mining equipment. That is from hydraulic mining pipe, and it's from a mine called Muckamuck. Drive down Highway 96 a few blocks from the Bigfoot statue, and you'll find odd yard art just outside Mr. T's workshop. Don't mind the mess because I'm getting ready for that show tomorrow. Mr. T is what his students call him, but when David Timbrook isn't teaching at Happy Camp High School, he's creating a variety of unique sculptures and functional art, like these small cupboards made from antique wood stove doors. Well, do you have a name for them, or what do you uh, call them? You know, I, uh, maybe a whatnot show, you know? Drive a little further down Highway 96 and you'll see more Bigfoot art. But if you stop by the Kingfisher Market, you'll see a colorful mural depicting the town's history. Who's that? I don't know, Teddy, get the light! Happy Camp art is not just sculptures and paintings. In 2014, independent filmmakers shot a fictional horror movie called Happy Camp, which is about mysterious kidnappings in the woods. Could it be Bigfoot? Who knows? Cheryl says few people in town saw it. It's not really uh, my mode of entertainment. <laughs> and just across the street from the market, you'll find this, the unofficial world's largest dream catcher. It's 113 feet in circumference and uh, 36 feet wide. The Dreamcatcher was the brainchild of artist Dennis Day back in 2006, but after he passed away in 2019, Cheryl and her husband restored the Dreamcatcher in Dennis's honor. You know, in honor of Dennis, and he was an amazing, talented, creative guy. From the Klamath River that runs through town to the colorful forest, it's easy to see why so many people are happy in Happy Camp. And maybe if you visit, you'll get some inspiration as well. From the little town of Happy Camp, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.